feel you surfacing. You don't feel like the real you because you have suppressed your real self for so long. We are here to help you turn those little glimpses of awarenesses of your real self into your, your new normal, okay? Not something that's so different that you hide and, and you don't let anybody know and, and you stay quiet all the time, okay? No. It's time for you just to be who you are and test the water and reshuffle the deck. You're going to reshuffle the deck of your life. When you find out who doesn't accept you, because you know what? When you're not, when you're not appreciated and celebrated, you need to move on, okay? This requires that you learn to live in two worlds simultaneously at the same time, like it's normal, okay? We want you to be that real person all the time because we can't reach you when you aren't. That's your guides talking. See yourself accepting who you are, unlike most of the people who surround you. I, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago about that. That's going to be the consequence. And I always talk about that, you guys. I always bring up the consequence of anything that you decide to delve into and master. There's always consequences. Expect it. You become the example for somebody else who may criticize you in the beginning and then watch how it plays out. You become Mikey. Mikey. Mikey likes it. When Mikey likes it, the other guys, the other kids joined in and said, oh, Mikey likes it. I think I will like it too. You become the example in a world with no good examples. I mean, none. No good role models they're, anymore. They're gone. Okay, what happened to them? All right. But you're the real thing. <clears throat> you're the one that, that's going to show them how it works just by being who you are, the real you, okay? If you guys remember the first insight that came out for 2020 from the guides in Linda's Weekly Guided Insights, one of the things that sticks in my mind about that insight is when they said, um, when they said, your new mantra, what did they say, Ray? Your new mantra, it will be faking it, no more. No more faking. No more faking it. That's what they said. No more faking it. You won't be able to get away with it. All right? And it's safe to come out now. Okay, you guys? Because everybody who's hiding and, and they're still scared and, and they're, they're worried about what everyone's going to think about them, they're suffering more than they ever have. So they're looking for somebody that, that, that has this thing, that's doing it. So they can go, oh, my God, I can't think I can. I feel like I can do this. That's what my flagship book is guided is all about. I showed them, I explained to them in, in my true story, how I did this. Okay. And some people in their reviews, this is really amazing. Some people in their reviews thought I was bragging <laughs> and gave me like a one star because she's bragging it. I, she's not likable. Well, those are the kind of people that you're going to run into as you come out and you start to be who you are. Just be who you are. You're not being flashy. You're not being, you know, arrogant. You're not being you're a show off or anything like that or trying to make them less because you, you're coming out and you're being who you are. You're not doing any of that. But some people will still criticize that and judge it like it's not okay to be who you are because it's not okay for them to be who they are for themselves. And that's tragic. So somebody has to start getting this ball rolling besides me, okay? You can't pull that wagon all by yourself. I mean, eventually, it's the hundredth monkey, you guys. You guys step up your game, and you move that way, and you feel the power of being who you are, and you do it with love. But you do it. You stop hiding. And, you know, the hundredth monkey, once that hundredth monkey syndrome, that 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 hump you get over that hump bam all of a sudden everybody all of a sudden it's cool to be who you are 
It's the only thing they want. Employers only want people who are who they are, not coming in faking it, holding their breath, tolerating another job and another boss. No, they want somebody who's authentic. Because when you're authentic, only then can you be, can you have impact, all right? True impact. That's a good example because you know who employers don't want to see? The person you Raise said, a recruiter. The person you said you were on your resume. You uh -huh. know, you're no, people are never any more not themselves as when they put their resume together. What an awkward situation, though, no, honestly. I know. That's very hard. Ray specializes, by the way, in case you guys don't know it, Ray specializes in helping you. If you ever go in for an interview, he specializes in helping you with the interview so that you come off. He gets you comfortable with who you are. He shows you how to, 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 pull, to move from that. Right, Ray? I sure do. And he, what do you charge for that, Ray? It's, it's uh, $99. It takes about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to, to train you how to be comfortable, take control of the interview, and reposition your competition who are interviewing for the same job. While being who you are. Right. By being the real you. Okay. Ray is in this project with me. Ray, Ray's heart and soul is in this project with me. So there's no way that doesn't bleed through his recruiting work. All right. If right. any of you need that service, who do they reach? Who do they contact, Ray? They can contact Ray Holly Recruiter. Okay, but how? what's the contact? My number or my new phone number. What about your email? Or you want to just give me? Yeah, they, they can uh, reach me by phone. Oh, by phone. By right? phone. Okay, what is that phone number? 480-404-8399 or Ray at Guided Press. Either one will get right to me. Ray at guidedpress.com. Or they could go to my website. Which is rayhollygroup.com. Right. Okay. So anyway, um, anyway, just want to just, just put that out there because it's just another way. You know, when we are true to ourselves, we are unique in the marketplace. We have a unique product. We have a unique brand and a, a unique way of doing business. That's something the marketplace really wants all right you know on the same note this is the time of year january when when recruiting and people looking for a new job people always wait till the end of the year before they start looking for a new job in january because they want to get their year-end bonuses and things like that but um it's pretty pretty hot competition at the beginning the, the beginning of the, every yeah. year the recruiting activity goes up about 55 percent because more people are hiring. Well, more, well, more people have held off hiring because they didn't have, they spent their budget from last year. Well, now they're they hiring. Have, they have a new new budget and they're ready to start staffing. Right, right, right. So the competition is pretty fierce. Right. So to think that there's not a job there for you, something out there for you, if you had trouble finding it, the only thing that may be missing is having that, that, that coaching from Ray, that, that, interview with Ray where you spend an hour with them, right, Ray? Yeah, it takes an hour, maybe a little more, but um, But they're but, on their they have it by the time they're done with Yeah, that. yeah, they'll have a system, a proven system that works, that's kind of proprietary. I've developed it over a year. I'm not I'm not new at this rodeo. I've um, I've helped over fifty thousand people. I've helped uh, I've recruited and interviewed over fifty thousand people in their job transition situations. And he does it with you just like this over Zoom so that you get the video in case you need to refer back to what happened in that session. Right. You can watch it over again. Right. Okay. He sits in this chair when he does these uh, little inner, the, what do you call it? Consulting. Training. Yeah. Training. Just, just to do a little training to get you more comfortable. It's pretty scary to interview. It's one of those tough situations. It's like public speaking, but it's true. Yeah. You want to do the best you can. You want to put your best foot forward. Uh, but you also have the challenge of most of the people you interview with are not very good interviewers. Right. And you assume they are. Right. And that's one of the most fatal mistakes a person makes when they go for the job because they're assuming that they're going to be strategically drilled right. in that interview. And that's by not the way. By a professional. Right. By a prof and that's not how it works. So there's a whole part to it there that rate uh, gets you gets you lined up with, I mean, you guys, it sounds like I'm making a whole ad out of this, but I don't mean to do that. But this thing about being who you are and being, and, and Ray, you know, having that, that part of him 
from this project where he helps you in this way that 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 includes you that is true to you okay that when you do the interview you can live up to the job because it's not something you faked to get there right that is not how you do it all right you want in fact oh you're in such good hands when you start the job if you get the job that Ray walks you through that part of it too to prepare you for that for that launch not just the interview but that launch okay so it's really cool you guys get a hold of Ray he'll he'll help you with that all right Ray who do we have with us who do we have we have a lively crowd here we have Joy hi Joy and Mary Elizabeth Mary Elizabeth hi Jay Handy hi Jay Jay Linda Schwartz hi Linda Schwartz and Bridget just came in the door Bridget, you guys, happy new year to you all. And um, so do they have any questions, Ray? Not yet, but you let's, guys. let's try to stimulate some questions. We had a comment from oh, Veronica. Veronica, yeah, in, from, the, in the post today. From this morning. Okay. It said, Veronica said, well, this is all about the courage to be the real you. She said, seems like the real me is more and more my new normal. It feels so much better to live life this way. Veronica's really come a long way. Veronica has, from, um, you know, working with her and then her working with her guides and using the journal, My Guided Journey, and working with over Ask the Universal Channel Facebook group, the private group that we have, and having, having fellow comrades who learned how to use this together, they, they learned together, as Ray and I walked him through this for about a year. And they're now the teachers on Ask the Universal Channel for the new people who join that want to learn how to do this. Okay, so this is really cool. And from doing it, from having this connection, this clarity to see their life as it is, the truth about what's going on, they were able to work through their insecurities. And I don't know how else to say it, but that would be it and doubts and stuff like that and fears about what somebody what people might think of them all right they 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 all all of them veronica included got through this whole process and they are changed people really they really are different yeah they, they're amazing uh so the comment after veronica's comment linda responded with your new normal in play you can finally get to know your real self again Building on that will reveal the gifts and talents you brought with you into this life. Having the connection to your spirit guides and show will show you how to use these gifts and talents so you can live the life you intended before you came here. Hence, you are connected and living your life on a higher level. Yeah, you know, who, who wouldn't want to be able to be in a situation where they use their gifts and talents that they brought with them? There, you know, any time that you feel like you have to put that to the side and not not let anyone know about it it's called and, compromise and right it, it is a compromise and it makes you feel resentful you, of course you do you're you're not the one it's, it looks like you're you're the one that's there that that's there to you know either go to work for that person or do a job for that person and, you know do something with that person as a friend and and but but if you're hiding yourself if you're pretending to be something else it doesn't work. It doesn't hold up, and you start resenting it. Anybody who does that starts resenting it. We live in a whole world of compromisers, all right? Is that a word? Is uh, that I a think word? it is. I mean, I just said it, all right? You just invented it. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> okay, Linda Schwartz says, no problem being me, you know, the courage of, to be real her. Right. As far as courage in rebooting her business, having confidence that she can do that again, you know, after a long, being a long break since she used to do readings and things like that. Um, you know, is that relevant? Yeah, sure, it's relevant. I'm not sure if, if you take a long break, if you're if you're doing something you're really good at, and for some reason you don't do that for a while and take a long break, it's kind of like riding a bike. It, I don't think that's what she's asking. Though, I know, but, but here's, can I say sure. what, what I think it is? I think what you're asking, Linda, is you're, you're stepping back into the game, okay? Getting back in the game. And you're not, you know, say retired or you took a break and maybe a long time you took a break and you don't know where you fit 
in the scope of things, the way things have changed in this world. And to be the real you, it, it may be, you may need, of course you're gonna need some adjustments to slip back in to what's going on now, what, what, how things have changed, okay? And how things are more, more of the same really to the point where it's really not working. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a world that has perfected its game. I want to call it game, gaming it so well. It's not about doing a better job for people. It's about, can I game it better than the other person and convince everybody that I'm the one? That's just adding to the game. That's just at putting more, piling more stuff on the, on the pretense, okay? That's not working. So the game, what used to people used to do, and they compete and do it, you know, it's kind of the same way, but you know, do something that's acceptable so they could get in and and get into that that groove or get into that into that um, venue or whatever it happens to be, so they're accepted. I disagree. I completely couldn't disagree with that more than any other time. This is the time to be who you are. Be bold and be who you are. Okay, this is the time to do it because everybody can see through the other stuff. They've seen it over and over and over and over again. And all they're seeing, they're just sitting back. They're sitting back like this going, okay, show me more. I know it's going to be another play on the same thing, different little curve, little angle that you're going to have. Okay, just, you know, get through it because I have other things to do. People are sick of it. So when you come out and you're the real you, they go, whoa, now I know when somebody's not gaming me. I know it. I know it when I feel it. That's the difference. And will you, will you offend some people? Oh, oh yeah, you will. Uh-huh. Uh, will, will, will some people love you? Yes. Will somebody be, some people be so grateful that somebody finally did this, even if it's kind of crude and not really, you know, uh, smooth yet yes because when they see that you did it no matter what you did it anyway they go well they fumbled and still did it did a pretty good job of it and if they could do that and fumble and still do a good job i know i can because i don't want to live like this anymore i don't want to hide i don't want to pretend i don't want to make all this up and game try to make a better game out of the game just adding more game on the game. Ah, people are sick of it and they see through it. All right. They do. So yeah, you can, when you come back into the game, Linda, you're going to feel, whoa, like, wow, things have really changed. But in, inside of that, okay, where do you fit? Where is it that you fit and are perfect for the times that we're in, to break down some walls, to, to get your point across, to, to really impact their lives and make a difference, all right? It really doesn't matter how much technology has changed. You know, people feel uncomfortable with technology because, hey, when I did this 10 years ago, you know, it wasn't, when I started recruiting, we didn't have computers. We wrote everything on recipe cards and stuck them in metal boxes. Okay? I'm not really talking about the technology, though. I, I just want no, you guys. She is. She's worried about the technology. Okay, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about that at all. No. Uh, but if you if you just place yourself right, you won't have to worry about the technology in the beginning. You need an email address. I mean, hello. You know, basic stuff. A phone number to first people to reach you. You you need some things to re-enter into this world, into this you know, into this into being involved in what's going on? The successful people in, in any profession, I don't care if it's sales or anything, is based on one thing, relationships. Yeah. What is your relationship to the people you want to help? What is your relationship to your customer? What is the relationship to your employees? That kind of thing uh, it never changes. And the other half, I think, is how much you believe in yourself. How do you feel about what it is you're doing. That's, a, that's critical. That's the reason why you do it. The right. why. Not okay, what? if your why isn't clear, 
if why you're doing it can't be conveyed in 10 seconds. Yeah. I'm serious. 25 words or less. 10 seconds. If you can't convey it with ease, I don't mean, I mean, smoothly lay it down. Like with conviction, like Grace said, then, then you don't know what you're ready. You really don't know what you're doing yet. You need to do more research. You need to get out there and see what's going on. So you know how to re-enter. Okay. We have, who else joined us? Katie Wallace joined us. Stephanie Weitzman. Hi, everybody. Lori Sorensen. Lori says, hello, I just listened to your book. Great. Lori, leave a review for me for, for Guided. It, it's the people who leave written reviews that let the other people who are thinking about it, you know, get a sense of it. It's so much better when it comes from you than from me, you know. It helps them heal. It does. Yeah. Okay, uh, Lori says, I just listened to your book. It's helpful. My question is how to clarify what to do first for, for, for her career. I want to be the real me. I'm at a place of getting ready to go out on her own. That's great. Um, that shows a lot of confidence right there. When she says go out on her own, is Work she for herself. We're an entrepreneur. Okay. Right, right. For, Good. Uh, for intuitive art. She wants to heal people through drawing them. Mmm. Mmm. That's Boy, interesting. You know what? Now, what I really like about that, Lori, right? Mm-hmm. Lori. What Lori, I, Lori with an L-O-R-I. What I like about what you're talking about is you can actually perform this whole thing online. You know, if, if what you have, if your business model is something you can do online, people don't travel like they used to. They can't afford to do it. They're afraid to do it. <clears throat> all right? right. There's a lot of reasons why traveling isn't what it used to be. Okay. So if you can do something that's pretty strongly, you can str pretty strongly do it over the internet, online, over your website, doing you know, presenting it any way that, that you can imagine, all right? You can draw this person. You can have that interview with them and, and get the sense of them first, I guess, is how you do it. And then you can sit back with that and just let that sink in, let that connection happen. That's how I do it. I don't know. That's how you do it. And, and then draw what you feel, what, you, what you're getting, okay, from that presence, from that connection, from that wholeness, oneness, and and then uh, send it to them in an email or somewhere where they can download it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, You'd get a lot of business. Use the technology to increase your reach. Yeah, that well, would be great. Yeah, you can't depend on. So let's let the guides talk to her about it, though, right? About that. Um, and and could you re restate what she said? Okay. Just to make sure the guides Lori are. Lori Sorensen says. She just listened to your book. Ta da! Your question is how to clarify what to do first for her career. I want to be the real me. I'm at a place of going out on my own for intuitive art to heal people through drawing them. Okay, Lori. You know, anytime you want to connect with your guides, you guys, let the stress go in your upper body. You know, stretch it out, move it around, get your neck loose roll your shoulders your back and breathe and that lets the guides through they come through like this all right and your spirit guides and angels are here with us now Lori, and they're going to talk to you about this and here they go hello Lori. we come to you in truth and love. You want to help others see who they are so they can heal. This takes a lot of, of courage for both of you. It's a lot of mental strength, not only to view the parts of 
a person that are are scary and things that they may not want to face. It takes courage to face them before they can heal them so they can move forward as their real self. You can look at courage as venturing forth into new territory and persevering in the face of pain or fear. Once you can bring it out of them and put it on paper visually, that is what will help them see their new self. What? Okay, I'm going to ask one more question around this for you, Lori. I'm going to say it to your guides. What do you see her drawing? Give a general idea of what you see, where she starts. Start from drawing what you see in them, both positive and what's holding them back. They need to see the difference between the two. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to say something to you here, that I'm seeing it. I see, like, if you were to take me and split me in half right here, and this part of me would be the part of them that where they said with the positive, and this part of me would be maybe have some confusion in it. So they could see how, what, where they need to make a course correction. Where, 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 and it'll speak to them as they see it. Talk to me about that in the feed, about what I, what I just told you, what I just saw. Okay. And it could be that the line is real obscure. It's just like a, it's soft. It's a softness between the two because that's the whole person. It's not a straight, sharp edge. It is a, it, it's a blending. It's, it's part of them is doing really well. And the, and there's another part of them who's still working on it, that type of thing. Deliver it with truth and love, and they will understand. Okay, I want some feedback from you on that, Lori. Okay. Yeah, that's the part that takes the courage. That's the second part. Awesome. But you have to see it. You have to see it and visually. It's like writing it down in, in the journal. Until you can write down your fears in the journal and look at them out here outside of you, can you examine them so you can heal them? Right. In this case, you're drawing them. Right. So that's the depiction that's being used for them to get it. Okay. Okay. What else do we have, Ray? Nothing else yet. You guys, where's your questions? Well, uh, here's some. What is this courage thing? Okay. Yeah. People say, well, he was really courageous or they were courageous to do that or try that. Well, what, is, what does courage really mean? Courage is strength and resolve. Okay, it's strength and resolve in the face of different kinds of adversity, or maybe pain, or maybe grief. So there's a lot of things where you need courage to face. I actually wrote a post. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I don't remember that. Uh, it's called. Um, mm. I can't remember the name of the post and we can't interrupt this. So um, anyway, it, about this, and it, it was based on uh, something a Lakota Indian said up in Pine Ridge in South Dakota. This was an amazing post that I did. Um, after we're done tonight, 
We'll, find, we'll find it and post a link to it. Yeah, it, it's a, it's about being courageous and, and how you know you are, and and the and the BS that keeps you from being like that. Okay, instead of being fully who you are. Every one of you came in here to be who you are. You came into this life. You never would have come here if you didn't have the intention of being you, bringing your gifts and talents with you to use those to express yourself in this world and do something in this world that made a difference, okay? You came here to make a difference. Being the real you is one of the raw materials the one of the main ingredients it's going to take for you to do that but once you start doing that you're going to love it okay nothing once you experience what this feels like and see the rewards that go along with it ex actually experience it you will never go back to that shadow of yourself because that's what that's really what people have been they've been nothing but a shadow of themselves because they've been afraid they've been threatened by this world. And that's not why you came here. You can't be fully who you are. Well, that's why you need the courage. You know, some people call it guts. You know, they don't, he didn't have the guts to do that. But I'm surprised he had the guts to do that. It's, it's, it's resolve in. And some people will say, I, I'm surprised he would, that they were crazy enough to do this. Right, because okay. courage is not reckless. And my, when I was, a, a, well, when, uh, the first house that that I bought, I was 19 years old, and my family criticized me instead of praise me. You're get you're over going to get overextended, and all they saw was all the negatives. And I just I turned my back on all of them and bought that house. And not only did I buy that house, but I be, as soon as we bought it, I put a built-in swimming pool in. In other words, I just didn't, I, I just didn't care, you know, what people thought. And then, and then I really got criticized for that. All right. So it's just one thing after the other. God forbid, should you have a wonderful life? God forbid, should you go out and live it with gusto and be who you are? All right. But that's why you're here. That's why you came here. You didn't come here to go to stall out and freeze up and go, oh, you know, holy cow, what was I thinking coming into this life? And we've heard so many people say that. The only thing they, that they did wrong is they weren't who they are. They, were, they were, have not been who they are. They're the ones that got in the way of their plan. They let all this going on in this world shut them down. That's why I say, write in the journal, start with part three and write down 15 minutes a day what's really going on in your life. The, the unusual and out of the ordinary occurrences, write it in your journal. You can't see it when you're in it. You can only see it upon reflection, upon review, as you re review what you wrote and what you wrote the next day and what you wrote the next day and the next day. And you tie these together, you're gonna see it. You're gonna you're gonna be so empowered. Yeah, Lori says thanks. I was getting chills throughout you talking. I'm beginning to feel the process. I'm so thankful to hear this, and I'm feeling direction. You this are. is the first time I've heard it put this way. It sounds so good. I thought I may also draw their spirit guides and angels for people also if they come through. Yeah. You, you can draw, you know, a, another thing, Lori, is like, I'm not saying draw auras, but I'm saying where, where, there's, where there's, a, there's, a, there's a sphere of light, you know, uh, where you see it and feel it. It's, it's, you're probably in the beginning, you're going to feel it. And then you're going to translate that on the page, on the, on the canvas, you know, that type of thing. I mean, who would ever think that that was what my guide would look like? what that doesn't look like an angel or it doesn't look like a person although it does have the, the form of, of a person's body all right so this is this is the way it is i i mean how could i not put what happened 
so vividly on the front of my flagship book. Wow. You know how many people didn't want to put that on the cover? Yeah. All of them. Yeah. The, 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 the editor, the, the, the book cover designer, uh, I mean, everyone was terrible. Oh, you're not going to do that, are you? Oh, and what it, Ray stepped in. Ray they, stepped wanted, in. they wanted to put it on the back cover about this tall. They See my picture? on the Here's the front of the book. Okay, got it. They wanted to put it he, over here, this little spot right here, and, and take my face off and put, put, put this. Uh, the, the whole point to the book, put it back here and hide it, you know? And Ray, what did you say when they did that? I said, we're gonna, I said you're going to put it on the front cover as big as you can put it on there. <laughs> See, that's being who you are. That's knowing what's right. You guys don't let anybody push you down, say, oh, you can't do that. Oh, you know, that's too risky. My whole life, people have told me, oh, my God, Linda, that's so risky what you did. I can't believe you did. To me, I look at that and I go, now that's a big exaggeration to me. That my perception of that comment is nothing more than a big exaggeration of just living your life in the present moment, in the flow as guidance is pointing you true north and I move that way. You know, the, the irony That's is- That's all it is. The irony is your family told you you're doing all these risky things. You're being taking too many risks. And what did your father tell you before he died? He, he said, he goes, what I learned from you is that I didn't take enough risk in my life. That's what he said. And my dad was, you know, I mean, he, he, he worked too hard. He, he, my mom and dad thought everything was, should be hard. I want you to know that your guides won't sanction that. They don't think, they don't look at life as hard. They look at it like you're fine. You're here. This is what we planned. We followed you here and let's do this thing. Okay. Let's not let anything get in the way and stall you out. That's being the real you. What did they say in this session? They said, they said, let me repeat it. We want you to be that real person all the time because we can't reach you when you aren't. They can't reach you. So you're not connected and you're, you're, you're in just this world and you're terrified because you, you know, I tell you, until that happened at 20 months old, my mom almost killed me and they all showed up around me when I asked for someone to help me. I was so fearful, terrified to be in this world when I woke back up on the floor in a puddle of water and I didn't, I wasn't, she didn't do me in. I, I was hoping I wouldn't have to be here anymore, all right? That finally this would be over at 20 months old. That's pretty radical. And they all showed up around me and when they showed up, it changed everything. I mean, I can only tell you that, um, the, the point I was making here, um, about when you are when you are scared when you are frightened when you are worried about what other people think about you you are then disconnected from your source from your source connected guides you are disconnected and they can't reach you so you are on your own as soon as you go that way all right but if you if you put it in perspective if you write down what happened instead of take it in and just let it let it let it ferment inside you i don't know how else to say that get it out of there and put it write it on these pages and get it out of here and put it on here you will in in, in review you can't see it when it happens you can't in review you'll look back and go i can see it now now i can see the whole thing and i'm not afraid it's fear that keeps us from being who we really are. Enough fear. fear. Fear has had enough of your life. Okay, what do we have, Ray? Any, anybody? Or are you guys just having fun? We're having this? too much fun. Denise okay. is here. Hi, Denise. Denise. Great to have you. De Denise, what time in the morning is it? So it's like 17 hours difference. In and, Australia. And most of it's still burning. Oh, 
Okay, That's so horrible. okay, so um, Ray, do we have any other comments? Are you sure there's nothing yeah. else there? Okay. It's about being the real you. And it, they started out, the guide started out the the first uh, insight, Linda's Weekly Guided Insight for the first of the year. If you go to my blog, you'll see where it is. They talked about 2020. It's about being who you are. And this year, you can't, you can't not be who you are anymore. It doesn't work. People will see right through it. You want to know why? Everyone's doing it. Everyone's hiding and everyone's worried about what, what you know, what they're going to think of them and stuff. So no, now it's time just to be, you're going to be the anomaly. You're going to come out. You're going to be who you are and they're going to notice you. You won't have to worry about competing with everybody who's still faking it. They already see through that. Okay. But when they see somebody step it up and they're who they are and they took the chance of being who they are, and they love themselves enough to, to trust it, okay? That person, oh my God, I can learn something from them. I like what I'm seeing now. You become that example. You know what they call those people? Heroes. That's true. That's true. And, they're, and you become the ones that they follow because you know what? They've been beat down, you guys. You know what they've been through. You've been there. Especially if you read my book, Guided, you're going to know that I know. And I've lived through it. And I've, I've lived, you know, above all that crap, really. I, in Guided, I talk about, I was, I was uh, in part one, or chapter one, or in part one, there's two, four parts to Guided. Part one says, raised by spirit guides, because I was not. When I had this connection with them at 20 months old, and I had that epiphany after epiphany, that awareness came to me, and I remembered who I was, where I came from, who they are, and how this whole all thing, this whole thing uh, played out coming into this life. I could not, I, and I would not follow this lameness from these family members who, I don't know, I'm going to say it like it is, who pretended to raise me. They tolerated me. They were pretending. They didn't enjoy it. They weren't looking out for my best interest. They were putting up with it. All right. How many of you were raised in families like that? Okay. <laughs> so I, I chose to be raised by spirit guides. I stayed tuned into these guides. I had a journal as a little kid and I kept my journal going, my diary to keep track of what was going on in my life because I had no one to talk to. It was the fifties to understand what was going on. That's why I know you can't see it when you're in it because I couldn't see it when I was in it. That's why I wrote it down. My journal was my best friend, was my lifeline in this world that, that gave me this higher intelligence to, to, to purge and place on the paper, on the pages, so I could understand this. You know, these, you see these, the, the news stations especially make a big deal out of the hero of the week or the hero, you know, this, this person's a hero, that person's a hero. Well, what, what made that person a hero? Before they said he, he or she was a hero, he looked like an average person. But the difference was that that person had um, the guts and the fortitude to do the right thing at the exact right time and overcome the fear of doing it. Right, and not let fear influence it. That's because they trusted who they are. We're talking about being the real you. When you're the real you and you and you actually step into that and act on that and be who that is. And you take that chance to be who that is. I mean, fully. That's when you start trusting who you are. You've got to work it. You've got to, you've got to practice it in everyday life, every day. Every 
day you write in 15 minutes a day in part three of your journal, My Guided Journey. That's why I wrote this. This is the companion journal to my flagship book, Guided. It came about because of the thousands and thousands of followers that wanted to know, I got this thing, Linda, but how do I do it? This is how you do it. Lori, this book would be great for you. All right? This purges it. This flushes it. This lets you see it. And this makes you feel secure in being who you are and trusting who that is. When you trust who you are, you are never the same. That's what guided. That's what I, when I wrote guided, that's what God it's all about. It's about being who I am, you know, even when it was, even when I got punished for it, I couldn't let this world beat me down and beat that out of me. I could not let them have me like that. When you let the world prevent you from being who you are, they took your soul. They did. That's what they did. And they don't have a right to that. That's yours. You take it back. You let that expression come through you. That urge come through you. Be who that is. And let the chips fall where they may. Okay? That's the game you're in. But at least you know straight out where you stand. Those people don't like me. Those people love me. I'm going over there. <laughs> I'm spending more time over there. And I'm going to be more of who I am. Maybe I will draw those pictures of people, those, those, those portraits of people as I see them in their wellness and where they need healing, both. Well, that's like before and after pictures. They're hardly any more powerful than that. Yeah, but, they, but, they, but, but, they're, but they're there with each other. You know, They're there together. And the, 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 the powerful, healthy part of them if they just recognize that part's there, you, that part's there, you can resolve the conflict over here. Yeah, and this be the hero thing. You, know, you don't have to be a hero to the world. You have to be a hero to yourself first. You have to respect this. Right. You right. have to like this. And you know, when they, people say I they, you have to learn to love yourself, that's a bunch of malarkey. 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 I like that word. When you've got to, you've got to learn to be yourself. Okay. Before you can like yourself. And then you've got to, then you, the byproduct of that is learning how to trust yourself. So you get yourself in a situation and you actually take a, take a chance because you, 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 you know who you are. You're, you're being who you are now. Now you're, you're actually acting on that trust you have in making a good decision, knowing what to do. Okay. You're acting on it. And one thing leads to the next pretty soon. You're comfortable with this real you, the new normal. That's what's happening here. But you've got to play it out, you guys. Don't be afraid. Keep track and, and monitor yourself the 15 minutes a day in my guided journey. This isn't just like get writing in a notebook, by the way. This has instruction guidance it's got questions that you ask each yourself each time you write in there to really see what's going on okay each time that really draws you out this book is unique this isn't just a notebook where you all a bunch of blank pages all right okay ray Maybe questions. Being the real you. Lori you, says she's going to get the journal. Yeah, you need to get it. It's going to help you a lot. All right. And there's, then, a lot, there's a lot of work in it when in that journal. I mean, oh. when it first came out, about a couple of years ago. Yeah. When we first started. A year and a half ago. And the guide said, "Don't publish it. Don't publish it." Right. It was 40 pages long or 45 pages long, and we worked with over 100 people. For to, over a year. For over a year. It was a work in progress. To perfect it, and now it's 175 pages. Yeah, it's dynamite. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to talk about, we're going to close the session tonight about the courage to be the real you. And the guides are going to close it with their closing message. But I'm going to announce a few um, little announcements before we do that. Next Tuesday, just like every Tuesday, next Tuesday, January 21st, 2020, 
Can you believe it? Join me right here on my Facebook page, Linda Dear Author. This will be a Q&A and commentary, just like tonight, with me and my spirit guides at 6 p.m. Pacific time, so don't miss it. In Linda's Weekly Guided Insights, my spirit guides will be talking about the cycles of your life. Mm. No matter what you achieve or not, the first 50 years of your life pales in comparison to the next 50 or so. Until hitting that halfway point, many people haven't had the time to think about this. They were not running their life. Life was running them. My work is about helping the ones who can be reached before they make any more life decisions that hinder them. The programming from the first 20 years, that would address part two of my guided journey. Part two takes you back to the early part of your life. Ray was talking about where we, uh, this was a work in progress for over a year before it was published. And Ray interviewed me on each chapter in part two, chapter one through 18. And the video, we did a video for you to follow before you start writing in part two to purge the past. You can't move forward until you know what happened in that past and heal it, okay? So that's what this is about. There's a video for each chapter. There's a video for each chapter. Powerful. All right. Um, okay. The programming from the first 20 years was so intense that many people unwittingly continue making decisions from fear-based reactions. That's where we break that pattern, that, that, that knee-jerk reaction that you keep making. You don't mean to do it. You don't, you're innocent. It wasn't your fault. You were too young. But now you're, you're old enough to see through it, and you're going to heal that, all right? This keeps you small. That's not who you really are at all. To realize your purpose here in this world, you must go back to the first 20-year cycle to expose the conflict. All right. So... And I do want to say this, Lori, since we're talking about this tonight. Um, my Guided Journey is the companion journal to Guided. It came about from the fans from Guided that wanted to know how to do this. All right. Part three of My Guided Journey is my journal writing. It's a whole separate book. But 20 pages of my uh, journal writing is at the end of My Guided Journey. 20 pages. 20 entries for you to make so you can get on a roll, so you can get it moving, all right? And then when you get that really kicking out, you want to get the second. This is the third book to the guided journal writing system, my journal writing. This is just journal entry pages, where this has taken the journey back in part two and the 20 pages, so you can get a good taste of this, okay? So this is, you'll see the, all the books together. There's Guided, there's, there's My Guided Journey, the companion journal to Guided, and then the journal writing. All right. It's called the Guided Journal Writing System. All right. Pretty so comprehensive. It is. It's, it's really well thought out, and it's powerful, and it works. And when, uh, it, it, <laughs> I just can't say enough about it. it it's changed lives, and, and it continues to do that every month. In fact, I'm going to read about this right now. Um, next, or this month, uh, Saturday, January 25th, Ray and I will be live on location in Phoenix, Arizona at Storm Wisdom from 1 to 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. This event will be about how do you know your spirit guides are protecting you? With Linda Deer and Ray Holly, along with those who attend on location. You can also attend this event via live streaming and watch it on demand for 30 days after it's over for just $9.95, a two-hour live event. So I get the two-hour coaching session. And what we do, yeah. And what we do is I use my guided journey to take you through this, to, to walk you through how you use this journal. Okay, you guys, if you want to learn how to use this, Make sure you sign up for this event. 
because um, it's going to help you a lot. So register early as seating is limited. To watch the video trailer and register for this event, click on the link in the description of this video. Okay. So anyway, and one last thing before we do the closing message. If my work has changed your life and helped you in any way, be sure to share this video, you know, tonight. Um, go to my website and share what I, what uh, my work, what I do there. All right. And, um, and join me on Tuesdays and, and that once a month live event we do. They're, they're powerful, you guys. They are. All right. Okay. So we're going to close this session. Do we have any more questions there before we do that, Ray? Mm, nope. You guys are awesome. Good okay. crowd tonight. And always when you, before you, before you write in your journal, before you write in your journal, take that moment to breathe. And you're including the guidance who followed you here. You're including your own guides who have been waiting for you to be ready. Okay. So they're going to close the session on the courage to be the real you. And here they go. What is it about courage? It's the ability to withstand fear and move in, in the direction of your guidance. Use the the guidance you receive as a as a map to move you into your new new role as the real you okay and i'm going to post that one blog post that i wrote couple it had to be three or four years ago oh yeah it is so good and it ties right into this okay and i'm going to post it after this um session's over tonight and i'll get it up in the next five minutes after we're done so look for it don't forget about the treasure chest of lessons posts videos that are on linda's website i mean there's 450 self-help videos free there's a reason that my website is Number one website in the world, most popular, most highly engaged website in the world for any spiritual writer. Isn't that amazing? I Five mean, years ago, they didn't even know who you were. Yeah, it all it all came started from guided all of it, and ever since then they come back and they they re, go through the website and just devour it. I mean, the the average time for a person to spend on this website is over 35 minutes. That's unheard of. The average time that people spend on any other writer's website is two minutes or less. Yeah, authors, right. Yeah. And I, we're talking about Deepak Chopra and-, and, and All those famous all ones the you've big, heard, for the la, uh, heard about for the last Wayne 30 years. Wayne Dyer, uh, at, Everybody. all of them, okay? And, and that's just incredible. It's because the information is powerful. It gets right to the point. It's not long-winded. It gets right to the point. And almost every one of my um, blog posts have a video right. of, of, of that session. Okay. So how do they find what they'd like to watch? There are 450 videos and hundreds and hundreds of posts. How do they find what they want to hear about? Well, let's go search it. Search it where? You, there's a little hourglass. Uh, you know, you'll see the menu, the, the navigation menu at the very end of it the tail end of it, you'll see a little hourglass click on that and you can just put your search criteria in. Of course, the more general the search, the more results you're going to get. Okay. Well, on that word, that if you're looking at something like, um, courage, right. Courage would be a good one. Real you, right. you put that in there. Real you, if it's two words, you need to put quotes around it. So it's looking just for that, that phrase. Right. Okay. So that, that's how you use the search. Because there's so much on this website. I mean, ah, oh. and so anyway. Um, and it's all free. And it's all free, yeah, for you guys. 
It's powerful. Okay, we will catch you next week and sign up for the live event. You're gonna, you'll see the uh, link for this in the video at the top of the video where Ray put everything in before we started tonight. And it says live event, live events, and you'll see the link there. It'll take you right to the live events and the two trailers and. Or they can just go to lindadeer.com and the live events will pop right up. Yeah, there you go. You guys, it's our pleasure. We love doing this on Tuesdays. We, we do. We'll see you next Tuesday. Good night, everybody. Good night. Be kind to each other.